Hi friend, I hope you're doing super, super well. So today we are in the Book of Nahum on our Bible journey. And the Book of Nahum plays in a time when, um, you know, the Northern Kingdom was already in captivity and the captors already took over their land and the Southern Kingdom was on its own. And um, God frees them like through amazing miracles during the time of Hezekiah. Like Hezekiah prayed and then God like really came through in power and freed them from that enemy army. Um, it's a really beautiful story. And so when Nahum came, like all those things were going on at one point. And then Nahum was actually called like to the city of Nineveh. Um, and the city of Nineveh like, was like the city where Jonah went to as well. And that city was at that point where Jonah went, an evil city. And, but then the people repented. Now with Nahum, the city went back. That's about a hundred years after Jonah. And the city went back to their old ways and started doing all those things they weren't supposed to do and like really did worse than before. And then Nahum is going there like from God's send to bring the message of destruction. So in this book, like especially in the third chapter, it talks a lot about that. It talks a lot about like, you know, the destruction of Nineveh and that it will never rise again. And it's interesting because um, I read in a commentary that it was never found till like, I think it was like the 1800s or something. Let me look. Um, I don't 1845 so they never found the leftovers of that city till 1845 isn't that crazy um, like, yeah it shows again like and it speaks about that in chapter one as well how powerful God is and how loving he is but then also there's justice like eventually um, if we don't follow God there's like consequences as we see like but God always wants to bring like change and I think that's so beautiful to see like in in all those different prophets and then um, yeah in the, in the first word uh, chapter verse 7 um, that it talks about like how God is good and he will take care of those people and the ones that hold on to him and that are not walking away from him in hard times because he's faithful because he's a faithful father and then the second chapter it talks a lot about like the you know how the help comes from the mountains where people look for good news so they looked up there and then a messenger would come with good news isn't that beautiful like God's gonna bring good news from the mountains through a messenger and he brings that shalom peace like that deep peace and um, that's all surrounding and everything it's just it's just amazing um, it's such a beautiful book and again like in the last chapter it talks about destruction but what I love about Nahum like he was really faithful again like a prophet like that really followed God and just preached his message and I assume like it's not easy going to like a city um, of an you know like there were not even like the Israel like friends or whatever like um, and he had to go there and preach that message of destruction like everybody of us wants to preach a good message right so it's hard like to bring like the the message of judgment in this case like for him and but he did it like he was like this is what God said and I'm gonna do it um, so yeah when you read to the book of Nahum be inspired be inspired by his story and by his heart and like how he followed God but then also how he showed like the power of God but then in the same way the love and the goodness of God and the God as a helper so um yeah be inspired by the book so God I just want to pray that you bless every person that's watching this through the book of Nahum give them encouragement give them hope um, give them joy through this book in your name we pray Jesus amen have a blessed week and um, enjoy the book of Nahum. Bye.